Hey everyone, my name is Jason Bredhorst and I'm the owner of More Than Rewards and uh, today chances are if you're checking out this video on uh, my YouTube channel you're probably wanting to get some in-depth information on a couple of our products. Uh, I do some of these uh, training type videos uh, just to kind of dive a little bit deeper into things. So, uh, so the purpose of this video is uh, to talk about um, two things, the keypad manager and the contest manager. So for those that don't know, uh, more than rewards, we uh, create the writer reward system. Uh, we, we provide, uh, we also have a couple other different platforms and products that we do as well. But, um, you know, really our, our core product is the writer reward system. So for information about that, go to writerrewards.com. And um, some of the new things that we've been talking about uh, lately has been the new uh, writer rewards keypad. If uh, you go there and you kind of scroll down here, you can see there's a picture of it right here on the uh, website. What this thing is, is it's a touchscreen device that gets mounted at the point of sale. Customers can walk up, punch their phone number in, and it can be programmed to do different things. So, it, And this is where the contest manager comes into play because... Um, as a current Mother Rewards customer, you get the keypad for free as well as the keypad manager. Um, so you can do things like uh, people can walk up, check their reward balance. They can, uh, you know, uh, offer them daily deals, different promotions, all that kind of stuff. So if you are a current customer and you want to play around with this and check this out, pull up the intranet and then go over to the marketing tools section and there's a new section over here called uh, keypad manager and in there you'll see all the keypads that are listed you can also launch any one of those keypads that you want to control and you can create uh, different marketing messages that will rotate through on your keypad or you can program those keypads to do different things um, so the keypads are really great for in-store use but um, you can also do the same things for online as well. And that's where the contest manager comes into play. So uh, let's say you want to go beyond just a quick message. Maybe you want to do something like encourage somebody to follow you on Google, right? To increase your online reputation. Maybe you even want them to write a positive review about you. Uh, so what you can do is you can create a contest and say if you do that you can be entered into a drawing or get a virtual raffle ticket and then at the end of the month we will randomly pick somebody out of that raffle for the prize of whatever that is. So maybe you want to give away a free, I don't know, a free oil change or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can also do instant sort of gratification type messages as well. Uh, we call those instant rewards or instant deals. And that's kind of similar to like a Kohl's cash type of system. So if you want to do something where as soon as you follow us on uh, Facebook, you will automatically get a coupon for a uh, free quart of oil or something like that. Uh, that's an instant sort of gratification coupon. Uh, for the purpose of this video, though, is I'm going to really show you how to create contests. So we won't dive in too much into the instant uh, daily deals, although you can do that with the contest manager as well. Um, I also want to do point out that there are two separate things. There is the keypad manager and the contest manager. The keypads work in conjunction with the touchscreen devices that you can install at your dealership. Um, and all more than rewards customers get those things for free um, uh, as well, you know. But and then there's the contest manager, which you can do uh, an inside the store using the keypads, or you can also do it online through your website. So what's really cool about the contest manager, it, it works both ways. It'll work either in your store or outside of your store. And um, it also works with any website provider out there. Uh, whether you have, you know, PSN, Deal Dealer Spike, ARI, whatever different website provider you have, you can drop this widget on there. And uh, that same contest that you can run in the store, you can run um, online as well. In fact, we use it on our website. If you go to writerrewards.com and let's say you want to leave the site and you want to go over to, say, Facebook, before you do, it'll say, hold on a second, don't go to Facebook quite yet. Um, we'd like you to uh, have a chance to win a free T-shirt. So uh, if you'd like to win a free T-shirt from SexyHackers.com, which is um, a T-shirt company we work with that makes some really cool T-shirts, um, if you complete any of these missions, you will be get a, a virtual raffle ticket towards that uh, contest that we do every month. So you can see here, if I say sign up for the newsletter, I can click that, put my name and my email in. Maybe I want them to follow me on Facebook. I can click that if they follow us on Facebook. Here we can even say if you do all of these things, you're going to get... 10 bonus entries in to really increase your odds. So um, 
this is just one example of how to do this thing. Uh, but what's really cool about this is this thing works with dozens of different social networks. We've got it, all the popular ones, the Twitter and the Facebooks and, and all of that. That's that's pretty straightforward. But we also do some of the more obscure ones too, like Snapchat, right, or Pinterest. Uh, this tool is really designed to help target those Millennium shoppers at your store, which is kind of that up-and-coming demographic uh, that a lot of companies are struggling with capturing because they're very socially engaged. And so, you know, everybody talks about Facebook, right? But um, very few companies out there, I don't know anybody really in our market, in the motorcycle market, that's dealing with anything outside of Facebook and um, Twitter. Uh, so for us to come in and say, hey, you know, we can also do uh, Snapchat or Twitch TV or, or Google Plus or Pinterest, I mean, that's a big deal, uh, especially with uh, YouTube channels as well and some of the video marketing that is becoming more and more popular. A lot of these millennials are looking for that type of stuff. So anyway... Um, I'm going to show you guys the nuts and bolts of how to actually create a contest, put it on your website, and uh, or put it in the store on the keypad. So let's dive right into it. Um, this is the new contest manager tool, and uh, you can see that you can uh, create, say you want to create a contest or a competition, right? Um, I'm going to hit uh, create a competition, and let's uh, say oh, the thing that I want to do is I want to drive behavior to... Um, I don't know. Let's say I want people to uh, write a review for me on Google, right? That's something that I really wish people would do. Everybody always talks about trying to build their online reputation up. So how can we do that? Well, uh, I'll show you. So uh, you can create a contest. Uh, so I'm going to click this button here. And um, then what's going to happen is you're going to be prompted with uh, the name. So I'm going to just call it uh, uh, write a review on Google right and uh, win uh, free oil right or let's say oil change we'll give away an oil change right so um, the other thing is now let's uh, say that we want this contest to run between April 1st and the end of April what's really cool about this is that this thing can pop up on your site at different dates so you can create a whole series of contests for the entire year if you wanted to and when people come to your website they'll randomly come up depending on the days and when you run these things so it's a great way to tie in online promotions on your website uh, if you have the keypads the exact same stuff pops up on the keypad so we use the keypads to capture those people when they're in the store and we and uh, what's neat about that is that it sends them a text message so they're not standing there at the point of sale having to screw around and enter a bunch of da data all they do is they punch their phone number in the keypad and it texts them the information as they're standing there and they actually can do it from their phone um, but if they're not in the store then they can do it from your website uh, as well so uh, there's an area in here where you can type in like terms and conditions. So we're just going to type in type a bunch of legal junk here. I'll say right. That's where the fine print is of your contest that you want to type in that you can uh, type. If you do want to make this thing match the style of your site, you can totally customize the look and feel of it. There's other options as well, like um, you can hide the number of entries that the widget shows or or do different stuff like that. Um, Depending on what type of data you want to collect from a customer, uh, the next screen is that uh, user details. Oh, uh, also make sure you set your time zone because this thing is uh, based off of the geo. It has some geofencing technology in it, which means that depending on what location they're coming from and what time of day they're coming from, the different campaigns can be exposed to different people. So if you want to do something at, uh, in a different location in your city, um, maybe at a certain time of the day you can do that so in order for all that stuff to work you have to have the uh, time zone set right so we are in the central time so I'm gonna set that there um, some of the other stuff that you can do is you can choose the user detail so if you want to uh, put somebody's age in there um, one of the biggest things I hear in power sports business news a lot is these consultants are always telling you like uh, ask for birthday or uh, get that because then you can send out birthday cards to people right well nobody wants to gift the cashier their birthday um, very few people do unless you're buying a bike 
uh, or, or something like that. A lot of places are people are not willing to do that. Uh, with these contests, though, on your website, they're more than willing to give you your birthday to be entered into free st- free um, to win free things. So what's nice here is you can put an age requirement and say, well, you have to be 18 years or older. So in order to verify your age, you're going to have to tell us your birthday. And then you can use that to send them birthday cards and other promotions later on down the wet road. So it's a really great way to capture people's birthday. Um, you can also allow them to log in with different systems. So you can see that we support the standard email logins, but they can also use Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, and Twitter for logging in. So uh, it's really neat because they're not tied to any one um, sort of system. They can log in with any different um, system that you want. So I'm going to take, say, SoundCloud out of there because I figure, ah, you know, a lot of my users don't use SoundCloud. I'll just let people log in with email and Facebook and Twitter. Um, I can also throw my um, Facebook page in here. I'll put in uh, Facebook.com. So maybe uh, what that will do is that will uh, expose a little Facebook link on the widget that they can click on, which will jump to my Facebook site. Um, Also, you can also indicate if you want to require the login information before they do it or not. Uh, that's totally optional. It's up to you. If you do require it, it will automatically suck the data down out of the social networks into the database. So on that regard, it's pretty nice because it automatically pulls it down when they log in. On the downside, if people don't want to log in, uh, maybe they just want to give you their name and email and they don't want to log in with their Facebook, by putting that on there might uh, deter people. So I'm going to uncheck it because I don't want to force people to log in to join my contest. I just want them to join my contest because really what I want is their email. That's what I care about is their email. If they give me their birthday, that's cool, but I really would love to get their email. So um, when I come over here and I add custom fields, I can also create other things like um, addresses, city, state, zip. I can ask a question. Um, I can do things like if I want to ask the custom field. So if I want to ask them if they're a... You know what type of motorcycle they have, or uh, maybe you want to do this because you want to cl- have a run a contest and you want to find out if they're a hog member or not, or, or, or whatever the case is. But you can ask a series of custom questions as well. Uh, to make things easy on them, though, I'm just going to ask for their name and their email and their birthday, right? Um, I can indicate if I want to make it required so or not. So I'm going to just uncheck this because you know what. I don't have to ask for people's birthday. I'm not going to do that. I'll just hit save. Um, And then I can uh, also uh, indicate if they want to be notified if the uh, competition, uh, uh, notify me of the competition or not after they sign up. So what this is, is every time somebody signs up, it'll send you like an email alert and that type of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to pick the default settings, right? Then we're going to get into uh, the meat of it, which is really the cool part that I like. And that is the piece that how they can enter that competition. This is These are the rules that you're making them do. So this is the behavior that you want to drive. So if you want to get them to follow you on Facebook, right? You want to get them to follow you on Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, YouTube. All that stuff is done through here. And you can daisy chain these things together to create a whole string of different rules or different contests. So uh, let's say I want people to like me or write a review for me on Google, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in my website more than rewards, right? There's our company. By the way, if you haven't checked this out, you should check this out where it says see inside our office. You can walk around our office. It's it's pretty cool. If if your dealership is interested in learning how we did that, uh, give us a call and we can show you how to add that to your website as well, just like this Google infograph. So if you want to have that appear, give us a call. We can, we can help you with some of that stuff. But um, anyway, I don't want to sort of get sidetracked here. Uh, let's just say I want to drive behavior to write a review for us. So I'm going to say write a review. This little guy comes up and it generates this uh, URL at the top of my screen. So I'm going to copy that URL and then I'm going to go back to the competition. And then I'm going to say, um, I'm going to go to say Google and I'm going to say visit my Google Plus page. And then I'm going to throw my Google Plus URL in there. And I'm going to say, uh, write a review for us, right? on Google let's just say right 
Um, I can make it a different color or a different icon. So I've got different icon selections here. I'm just going to pick, uh, I don't know, uh, green, let's just say. Make it however you want. I can also indicate how many entries they get when they do this action. So if I want to, I can give people, say, five entries if they write me a review or, or they can give me one entry. So I'm going to say five. Um, eh, let's just say one. I'll get one. Uh, I can also indicate if it's mandatory to do. So I'm going to say mandatory as well. And um, if I want to, I can add another one, right? So say I want to say, uh, not only do you have to uh, like me on or write a review for me, I want you to follow me on Facebook as well or visit my Facebook page. So I can put my Facebook page in here. Facebook.com rewards that come rewards there and I can do like a page right um, so we'll just leave those two guys in there for now just to keep it simple I'm gonna hit save and when I do that it's going to save my competition oh it says oh I can't I'm not done yet I've got to go to the prize I almost forgot to give people a prize right so we probably have to gift them something if uh, we want them to do this so we will say your prize is for a free uh, oil um, oil change we'll say uh, win a free oil change every 30 days right or we'll just say win a free oil change you know and then the description I could say um, complete these uh, these are uh, I'll say what did I say? Write a re review on Google and win a free oil change. We pick new winners every month, right? Um, you can also upload different uh, artwork. So if you have got to create like a banner ad or something like that, that will appear. You can you can do that. There's a lot of different. Um, options here it also integrates with YouTube too so or twitch TV so it'll create like a YouTube ad for video uh, but uh, I'm just gonna say uh, no image so that way uh, it won't prompt me um, and then I can also do my post entry here and you can indicate this is an email that will go out to the customer after they've completed the action so after they've done the action it can send them uh, sort of a thank you email right I'm gonna turn that off because I don't want to email people um, instead maybe I want to redirect to a particular page so maybe after they do this action I want to take them back to my website right so I want to take them write rewards.com and I'm gonna hit save so it's like if they go to Google they write a review for me when they're done I want them to come back to write rewards.com so I'm going to hit save, and you'll see that if everything magically works here in a few seconds, one, two, three, four, five, there it is. Okay, it does, it just created our first competition, all right? So now we can embed this on our page. So you can take this code and drop this on your page, and uh, you can, so you can log into your editor if you're using like Dealer Spike or PSN or ARI or whatever it is, you can log in and drop this in there and put this on their page. The other thing is if you're a More Than Rewards customer, we've already set this up for you, so uh, you shouldn't have to actually do this because we have partnerships with these website companies and we've automatically had them do this when we set you guys up. But if you're not a More Than Rewards customer and you're just using this um, as a standalone product outside of Rider Rewards, you will need to uh, add this to your site. You can also um, uh, do a few other things as well, like you can add a tab to your site, landing page, and all that. I'm just going to say do this later so we can get into sort of the meat of it to see how it looks. Um, and if you see, here it says draft mode. Here is the campaign that was created. So it says you have zero entries, uh, or I'm sorry, my entries are zero, total entries in the contest, and there are 17 days left to win a free oil change. And you'll notice that um, it says write a review for us on Google to uh, unlock one free ticket. So this is the thing that appears on your website. Now, if you go back to... Uh, rewards.com if you remember does that look familiar right there it is on our website 
win a free t-shirt it's got these items down the side same sort of deal you can see um, obviously we have it stylized a little bit to look like on our site but the concept is very similar so let's say we want to write a review for us on Google so somebody comes to the site hits this button it says uh, visit write a review for us on Google hit this button looks look at that comes up writes a review for me on Google I'm gonna say more than rewards is awesome five stars boom and I'm gonna hit post it's not gonna let me because I own more than rewards so it's gonna say sorry you're the owner you can't review your own stuff but if I wasn't I'd be able to hit five stars and say how awesome I am so um, after I do that it would uh, redirect me back to the writerrewards.com so uh, that's an example of the competition manager and you can see that it's scheduled it's coming up uh, you also have various impressions so uh, after it's been running there's a few out here I wanted to just show you here's one that we did that uh, free t-shirt giveaway right we have 1177 impressions uh, and this was just within uh, I think like three days ago we created this contest so if you when you drill into this this is really cool for all you marketing nerds out there who'd like to uh, see a lot of the demographics and ROI stuff you can drill into the thing and hit reporting and it's got all of your magical uh, spikes and events that you can see what's going on so you can see what your traffic is and what your conversion ratios are so you've got um, on this day, 500 in our, our, I'm sorry, 358 impressions. There were 13 actions and seven users. I have a 2% conversion rate, right? On uh, this particular one, if I come over here and I got my top users listed there, we will uh, gray those out, unfortunately. Um, but because uh, those are real emails, I didn't realize that uh, that was listed. So I will, you might have a little thing pop up on the screen there. Um, that uh, will cover that up but uh, so anyway uh, what, what's neat about this is that uh, in addition to the demographic stuff there's this thing called winners right and it'll show you the winners um, at the end of the month when it comes time to give away your stuff all you do is you come under here and you hit draw winner and when you hit draw winner it's gonna it's gonna automatically pick somebody it says the competition is not yet finished are you sure so I the, the competition is still running so I don't want to pick a winner but if I did it will automatically email them and say congratulations you've won right and uh, or it'll give you their email address and tell you who they are so you can email them as well uh, you can also uh, integrate this with other uh, different uh, systems such as our email marketing system so you can download these emails uh, into Excel um, or import them into other systems as well so um, as you're collecting emails, you can do that. If you're collecting other things, let's say that I want to, in addition to the emails, maybe I want to collect um, their, uh, I don't know, I think I said what type of motorcycle they have. Let's say they want to do something else. Like, see right here, I've got uh, the Google review. Maybe I want to do something else. I want to go and I want to add another one. So I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to go back in and I want somebody to really uh, follow me on Pinterest because I really like my Pinterest account. So I'm going to write that and I'm going to make Pinterest uh, red because Pinterest is always red. And we'll do that. And then maybe I want them to subscribe to my newsletter also. So I'm going to hit that guy. And now what you should see is that, see it says unlock three more entries. To complete the above entry, you need to unlock the rest. So um, if you go and you notice back in that Google review, I checked the little box that forced them saying that they had to um, finish this offer before they were able to go to the next offer. You probably didn't see that when I was talking about it. But you see where it says mandatory right there? By doing that, it does not show these other promotions until they complete this one so it forces them to do this one first I'm gonna uncheck that and I'm gonna go back in and save it ta-da now you can see that everything shows up here that I just created so if I want them to like us on Facebook if I want them to follow us on Pinterest everything is sort of listed here as well so 
that's the contest manager. Um, the rewards manager, it, it's very similar to the contest. That's the thing that I was talking about that's like Cole's cash. I'm at my 24-minute mark. I try to keep these things to 30 minutes. So um, basically, I'll give you kind of a quick little three-minute overview on this um, so I can hit my 30-minute mark. Basically, it works exactly the same. The only difference is that when you are creating your reward, you can have a coupon code or a download link or a redirect appear immediately after the option. So uh, what I mean by that is that when they complete the task, right, instead of them earning a virtual ticket like with the contest manager, it will show them an e-coupon of whatever that thing is that you created. So if you want to do a coupon code and you want to say free uh, oil change, right? And you can type that in and you can even upload a coupon picture of an oil change if you want. Um, or you can redirect them to a page or provide them a download of a file or or a link to a certain, you know, uh, web page as well. But what's very popular is these coupon codes. So works exactly the same as everything that I just showed you. Uh, it's just instead of them earning raffle tickets, you complete the task and then you get exposed to the coupon. You can also set the number of um, coupons that you want to give away. So maybe you only want to give away like 10 cans of oil, right? Before the thing is over, you can cap a limit on there also. So you're not giving away the farm with everything, right? You can sort of limit your reward. Um, but that is the rewards module. Uh, I realize it's a little confusing because it's there's writer rewards and then we call it the rewards here as well. But it is really designed to just be sort of an instant reward or an instant daily deal in addition to the normal rewards that they're normally earning where they're spending you know money and they're earning one point for every dollar. So with writer rewards, you're in one point for every dollar. Uh, with the contest manager, you can continue to use one point for every dollar, but you can also do instant daily deals and instant rewards, which is what this thing is all about. And then when you go into your users, you can, these are all of the people that have done different things. So you can see this is your complete list, um, whether or not if they've uh, liked you on, or not. Um, so like you can see that like, uh, for example, here was a, a thing we did on the social networks on a contest we did on uh, Instagram. I did an, in, we did an Instagram contest, which was follow us on Instagram to unlock a free t-shirt. And you can see that these guys did, uh, this true MX, uh, group followed us on Instagram and then, uh, unlocked a free t-shirt. So, uh, there's entries, actions, subscriptions, all the different stuff is all listed here under users. Uh, you can also export all this data as well. Uh, very, very powerful tool. We are expanding this in the future and adding more stuff to it. But, uh, right now it does work in conjunction with any website. Um, or it can do, um, uh, with the keypad also. So um, more to come. I hope this 30-minute uh, little techie overview helped you guys out. If you uh, need more details, uh, give our sales department a call. Uh, you can talk to anybody there that, that works there. They should be able to answer all your questions for you. If they're not giving you the answers that you need or you really want to dive into more of a technical discussion, uh, you can call me. I'd be happy to give you sort of the, uh, the nuts and bolts of everything and how it all works. So um, or if you just want to uh, get a walkthrough on it, we can do a little uh, join me session or go, go to meeting session and, and walk you through it. But uh, it's, uh, it's a neat product, and uh, we're excited to talk about it and have it work with our new keypads as well. So thank you for taking the time today to watch us. Again, uh, my name is Jason. I'm with More Than Rewards. Uh, you can call us at 414-326-4100. Uh, we are located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So if you're ever in our neck of the woods, come on down and uh, visit us. And uh, we'd love to get a chance to meet you in person as well. So uh, you can also email our sales department at sales at morethanrewards.com. And then my last little plug here of the day is if you go to morethanrewards.training, training, Instead of .com, go to more than rewards training. You can be taken over to uh, our uh, site where you can actually schedule a product demo with other people besides me. So you can hit product demo here, 
and uh, that has our current calendar of availability. So if you want to schedule something yourself besides picking up the phone, just go there and they can take care of you. So that's my time, everybody. It's been fun. Uh, follow me on YouTube. I'm always doing these things every couple weeks. I'm putting out new videos. Uh, I'm trying to get my little uh, subscriber base up. So I got a couple thousand and growing. So trying to get it, get it up. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day and uh, ride safe. Okay, be safe out there in the streets. All right, we'll talk to you. Bye.